Jesus, 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 Jesus. Father, thank you for this day. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Proverbs chapter 8 today, Lord. 8, the number of new beginnings. We thank you for the revelation knowledge that you've given us. Hallelujah. That you may, hallelujah, impart unto us an grafted word able to save our souls. Hallelujah. We thank you for the, the word of God. Hallelujah. It's quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, dividing spirit and soul asunder. Hallelujah. Hakarabasata and it is a discerner Hakara the motives and intents of the heart. Hebrews four twelve. Hallelujah. Yes, the spirit and soul asunder was true and was flesh. Hakarabashata. Hakarabashata Rabashata Rabashata. Hallelujah. Was spirit. Hallelujah. Rebesete. Hakarabashata. And was corruption. Hallelujah. Higher nature from the lower nature. Hallelujah. Those that are led by the Spirit, those are the sons of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, last week, last month, we ended in verse 18, so we'll continue in verse 19. Okay. Hallelujah. My fruit is better than gold, yea, than fine gold, and my revenue than choice silver. It's talking about wisdom. Hallelujah. 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 It's better than gold. You know, in heaven, they use gold to pave the streets. Okay? That's the value of gold up there. What we deem most valuable here in the natural realm and spirit realm is it, it, just fodder. You know, something to walk on. Nothing. Okay? Wisdom saying is my fruit, what it brings forth. It's better than gold. Gold can't buy what obeying words of God. Wisdom is doing what God would do. Godly wisdom we're talking about. Not worldly wisdom. Not your wisdom. Not Eastern mysticism. No. What God says. All right? That bring forth. Okay? Greater. Okay? Greater. Hallelujah. Than anything money can buy. And my yield is better than choice of silver. You see what I'm saying? It's the best that can be. All right. Verse 20. I, wisdom, continuously walk in the way of righteousness in the midst of the path of justice. So, wisdom is dealing with obeying God's word. Righteousness was right in God's eyes, doing what he says. All right? And God takes care of the results. Don't try to manipulate the results. We live by faith. A lot of times, say, well, how is that going to happen if I do this? If I do this, then this is going to happen. I lose this. Or this, how is this going to happen if I do this? That ain't your job. That ain't your problem. You belong to God. You're bought with a price. You belong to him. Everything belongs to him. But you have made a confident commitment to, to belong, to yield to him. So he's responsible to take care of results. God can't lie. It's going to turn out better than you think. He just want obedience. Doesn't matter what you do. You can do the opposite of what it seems like in the natural realm. Okay? <clears throat> you can go the opposite way of where you feel you need to go. Well, God, what I need is over there. How are you telling me to go there? Don't worry about it. God is able to put more over here. When the direction he's telling you that's over, then, then, then which is over there. God can move that from over there. God can give you something better than over there. God doesn't operate according to normal laws. That's how we operate on. God is not bound by anything. God can do anything. Okay? A door can be there. God said, go that way towards the wall. You're like, well, God, why I got to go to the wall? It's a door right here. I'm going to get through the wall. Go and see. He'll make a way. The Bible said he'll make a way. There is no way. It'll make a bigger door over there. Or it'll make you walk through the wall. Or it'll make the wall disappear. It doesn't matter. God is only interested in you obeying. That's all God looks for in a human being. Can he submit? Submit to the authorities that he does know are authorities. God said, how are you going to expect me to believe you're going to obey me? When you don't even obey the authorities that you know are your authorities. That you know I put in place. All authorities 
ordained by God. You can't obey the police. You can't obey civil laws. You can't obey your parents. You can't obey your bosses at work. You can't obey your teachers in school. You can't obey your professors. You know, you can't, God is not going to promote disobedience. And when you, when you, when you, and it's not about you, how much time you do, it's about you repenting. Because it may be something that you try to be getting stronger, and getting better. You never give up. Keep trying to ask God for strength. It strengthens you. Okay, you're not perfect. It's your heart condition. Are you saying, please, I don't care. Or I'll never change anyway. Or are you saying, God, help me, strengthen me. And you keep trying, okay? Verse 21. He said, wisdom walks in the way of righteousness, that I may cause those who love me. Love means obedience. God, I love you. God equates a love with obedience. Jesus said, if you love me, you'll obey. So he said, I love Jesus. Yeah, but you're not being obedient. So how you love Jesus? That's the level of your love. To the, to the degree that you obey, that is the degree to which you love God. <laughs> then I may cause those who love me to inherit wealth and true riches. Then I may fill their treasures. Okay? He said he want to bless us. But he can't bless unless we stay in covenant. With him. The covenant is you submit and obey me, and I will bless and increase thee above all other nations, all the other people that are not um, committed to me. Okay? The Lord created and possessed me at the beginning of his way, before his works of old were accomplished. Okay, wisdom came long before. All of that. From everlasting, I was established and ordained from the beginning before earth existed. I, godly wisdom existed. Okay? Wisdom comes out of God. When there were no ocean depths, I was born. When there were no fountains and springs was overflowing with, with, with water. Before mountains were settled, before the hills, I was born. See, wisdom is the one that orchestrated and spirit, set the paradigm and the blueprint in the spirit realm before it was manifested in the earth in the natural realm. Everything comes from the spirit realm first. Spirit, spirit, spiritual realm is the real realm. This is just temporary stuff. Okay? Temporary. Body, physical, temporary. This glasses, the phone, temporary. 26. While he had not yet made the earth and the fields or the first of the dust of the earth, when he established the heavens, I wisdom was, th was there. When he drew a circle upon the face of the deep, I was there. Remember the blueprint? The outline, huh? Yeah, the backdrop. Mm -hmm. When he made firm the skies above, when the fountains and the springs of the deep became fixed and strong, you see, if, if, if not, the fountains would overflood the, the, the earth. That's what the flood was. Water came from out of the earth. You see how the oceans stop at a certain level? The seas, they stop at the, the edge of the uh, land, on the beaches, all that's controlled. When he set for the sea its boundary, <laughs> just said it, so that the waters would not transgress the boundary set by his command. When he marked out the foundation of the earth, once again the blueprint, he drew it out in the spirit realm. Then I was beside him as a master craftsman, and I was his daily delight, rejoicing before him always, rejoicing in the world, his inhabited earth. And having my delight in the sons of men. So when he created Adam and everything, he, it, it was the rejoicing, you know, that they made someone in their image and that everything was prosperous for us to enjoy. Okay. Verse 1 of Genesis says, God in the beginning, in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Verse 2 said, Now the earth was null and void. So between verse 1 and verse 2, Satan came and tore it up. He was jealous. Twenty thirty two. Now, therefore, O sons, listen to me. For blessed, happy, prosperous to be admired of those who keep my way. Heed and pay attention to my instruction and be wise. Do not ignore or neglect it. Happy, be happy, blessed, prosperous to be admired is the man who listens to me, watching daily at my gates, watching at my doorposts. The Bible says flee fornication for all the other sins outside the body. The sexual sins are most destructive to a person. Okay? Okay. Sex for married couples only. For whoever finds me finds wisdom, finds 
wisdom and obtains favor, finds grace and favor from the Lord. Whoever finds me, whoever finds me, wisdom, okay? That's what the wisdom is saying. Finds life and obtains, obtains favor and grace from the Lord. But he who fails to find me or sins against me injures himself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you jack yourself up. Big time. Okay, God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he who fails to find me or sins against me injures himself. All those who hate me love and date death. They swipe right for death. Don't do it. Father, thank you for this day. Bless us in Jesus' name. Amen.